These three questions will make it abundantly clear what you need to do for financial and soul personal fulfillment. Always, this, should, this will be your guiding North Star. It has been for me. Let me show you what it is. And I'm at least somewhat qualified to talk about this because I've generated tens of millions of dollars online. Here's one of my multiple businesses right here. And no, I don't have a damn course to sell you. There's no pitch to get rich quick or join my magic masterclass in this video. I'm just showing this so you know that you're not talking to some professional LARPer who lives in his mom's basement collecting cats, eating Arby's milks. So look, there's three things people really tr struggle with when it comes to finding their purpose financially. And what I mean by your purpose financially is you can't just follow what makes you passionate, what makes you happy. Then that we, we'd all be doing goofy stuff like getting high and, and going and playing Super Smash Bros. It has to have an intersection of three different things or it's not gonna work out. It has to have an intersection of happiness, financial reward, which is an F, and an excellent risk to reward ratio. Let's have these three things. It becomes a very, very hard decision to make if. And if it doesn't have these three things, it's a bad decision. The thing is most people can't think about all these three things at once. And they can't think about it over a span of 10 years. This is the equation. These three things over the span of 10 years. If you put a question into this context, you will always make the right decision. So let me explain what this context right here, because if it lacks any of these four things, it's a bad decision. So I have a friend who uh, I think has a really good chance of being a billionaire in the next like five years, but he's making bad decisions in my opinion. He can do whatever he wants. He's, he's a smart guy. He'll be just fine. It's just a great story to put this in perspective. This could just be an imaginary friend, by the way. Anyways, so there's these three things that are causing them to make tons and tons of projects, which I think overall is the wrong decision because the projects have a low risk ratio. They're all going to succeed. He has fun working on them and they all do pay very well. But there's just one problem. If you put all these projects out over 10 years, they're not going to be the most profitable thing he could possibly do with the next 10 years of his life. And so it's a fail. And so I was telling him the other day, look, if you want to be a billionaire in the next five years, you need to stop working on so many things that only work on the one thing that could make you a billion dollars. Because there's no billionaires out there that made their first billion dollars from 15 different businesses. They usually all made it just from one. And more importantly, why do 15 things to make a billion dollars when you can just do one? Be much more likely. To do that. You can't have 15 okay things and make a billion dollars. You could have one amazing thing and make a billion dollars. And so if you just simply put in this one factor of 10 right here, it would crush it. So in your own life, you need to think about these four things. And if you look at all the choices you're making in your life, we'll make it super clear what you need to be working on right now, what you should be doing. So first off, over 10 years is what you're doing right now going to keep you happy. Over 10 years is what you're doing right now going to be the most profitable thing you can possibly do. The most profitable thing you possibly can do. And over 10 years, if this thing does not work out, if it fails, will you still be happy? If you can do these three things right here, you're always making the right choice. Because this is going to set you up for as much success as possible. Because look, if something makes you happy, you're gonna get good at it. You're gonna get really good at it. You're gonna stay focused on it. If something doesn't make you happy for 10 years, for example, I see all sorts of entrepreneurs who start these businesses that they don't really like or enjoy. And what happens? Well, they don't achieve what they wanted to set out to do because they don't really enjoy it. So they start 10, 15 other projects. In order to have that one big project that's gonna make you your big buck, it needs to make you happy. And it makes, needs to make you happy for a long time. If you don't see this keeping you happy for 10 years, don't do it. Next, is this the most profitable thing you can do over 10 years? If you nail this, will this get you all the money that you want? Now, look, there could be some things you could do that will make you more money, but you would hate doing them. So you need to find the balance between them. However, when you really think about it, if you're working on 15 different projects at the same time, three different projects at the same time, or you're being tugged in eight different directions, you're going to ask yourself, okay, which one of these right here can make me, let's say your goal is $100 million. Which one can make me $50 million? Okay, so if this one can make me $50 million, why work on 10 other projects at the same time if that's my income goal? And so you need to think about that and you're gonna say, okay, I shouldn't be doing this thing, I shouldn't be doing this thing, and this is the thing that's gonna make me most happy and is the best opportunity to make me as much money as I want over 10 years. Because what's going to happen is if you do something that makes you happy and is very profitable over one year, but not over 10 years, well, you're making a bad decision over 10 years. And what's going to happen over 10 years is you're eventually going to have to live at the end of 10 years. 
You're going to be there and you're going to hit the fruition of all your decisions. And you're going to have to deal with the consequences of all your actions. For example, it's between my 20 and 30s, I did what made me happy and was profitable over one to two years. The result is I didn't ever make that one decision that was most profitable over 10 years. And so while I made good money, I never made the maximum amount of money I could. And because I constantly didn't focus on what would make me happy over 10 years, when I got to about 30, I had these businesses. I'm like, none of these really make me happy. I don't want to work on these things anymore. So long-term, it hurt my happiness. It got me stuck in something that was short-term profitable and didn't give me the maximum happiness and profitability that I've been seeking the whole entire time. So you got to ask yourself that next. And then finally, a lot of people have trouble making decisions because they're afraid of the risk. I'm not going to quit my job. I'm not going to do this thing because of this. So you got to ask yourself, if what you decide to chase and pursue after, if it doesn't work out, would you still be happy? Because that's the way you can guarantee that no matter what you do, as long as it makes you happy and it has the best chance of profitability, is you're making the right decision in the long term. You can sit at the end of your deathbed, of your lifespan at the end of the day and say, you know what? I'm really glad I did that. Because that's the only guarantee you can really get to. There's no such thing as a risk-free opportunity, but there is such thing as an opportunity that you'll be glad you swung at. If you go and do something that doesn't make you happy for 10 years and isn't the most profitable thing over 10 years, and plus, you wouldn't be satisfied with if it didn't work out, well, then you're really setting yourself up for something nasty. And so when you look at most people's lives, look at the average person's life. They're working a job they don't like. Is this going to make you the happiest over 10 years? Nope. Is this the most profitable thing you can do over 10 years? No, but it is the most profitable thing you can do for the next three months. It's, it's comfortable to be there. And it will keep you sort of happy for the next three months. So it, it, will, it will keep you okay in happiness. It will keep you okay in comfort for the next short term time frame. And really, if you think back and you look at it, at the end of your life, you're going to be happy that you just did this thing that you didn't really enjoy, that just kept you right nice in the middle. No. So it fails all these criteria. But when you're also thinking of other business models, is this, is this the best thing I can be doing over 10 years to make me happy? If the answer is no, then don't do that business. Don't go after it. Don't pursue. You, you don't have to necessarily get into the business you want to get into, but let's say you want to start a software company. You want to become, I don't know, a video game developer. You have your own video game company. So what could you do? Okay, you could go, go and say, here's my 10-year plan. And first thing I want to do is go work at a software company. I want to go learn how to develop code. I want to do a bunch of things that over one to two years might not be the most profitable thing, but will make me happy. And over 10 years, once I learn these skills, that's going to make me way more money over 10 years when I make my own software company. That's how you need to look at these things. Because then you can make decisions that are okay, but all lead to one big thing. You can make decisions that aren't so great short term, but are amazing long-term and you can head in a direction in your life that you won't regret at the end of your life for pursuing. If you don't do these things, you're always going to end up in some weird place. You're going to end up in a business model. For example, if you just do something that's the most profitable, but you don't focus on your happiness or something you're going to regret, you could get into something that is going to make you very upset at the end of your life that you did. And two, isn't going to make you happy. So you're just going to have maybe money, maybe not. And you're going to be missing these two things. If you do something that just makes you happy, but isn't profitable, you're not going to have any money. And let's just face it, it's, it's hard to live through life without having money. And you're not going to have something that if it doesn't work out, it doesn't pay off in the long term, again, you're going to regret doing. The maximum amount of happiness and the maximum amount of profitability you can get while still achieving that, you're just going to have something that leaves you in the twilight zone of weirdness. So just use these three things over 10 years and it will usually give you the right answer 95% of the time or at least put you on the right track. That's it. If you like videos like this, subscribe, hit the notification bell and like below because... Every week in my community tab for about four hours, I post a link to a huge arsenal of courses and training that show how I built my first multi-million dollar businesses. I'm giving this away completely for free, but in order for you to see that post, you need to tell the algorithm, hey, show me whatever this guy puts online. So like, hit the notification bell and subscribe, and I will tell the algorithm like, hey, show me this when it goes live. On top of that, check out the videos after this. They've helped me be super successful and um, 